hello everyone you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time of joining us you're welcome like subscribe and um, share this video if you said before if you're a returning subscriber thank you for trusting us and always coming back um so now i've drafted out the, my basic pattern if you don't know how to draft a half scale basic block pattern i have i'll link it on my description box so these are the fab these are the fabric i'm using and this is my pattern I've already drafted it out so i'm just going to alter it and we're focusing basically on the neck um the upper chest part of the front pattern because that's where the alteration is coming from so let's get right into it now i am i'm going to deepen the neck of my if you watch the pattern very well the neck is not deepened so i'm going to deepen it by 0 0.5 i'll connect it then make the connection and um, I'm going to go down by 7 inch how deep you want it to fall is how deep you're going if you go down by 6 it will, the, the drip that's the cow will be on the upper part so it's how deep you want it so you should take note if you go lesser than 7 it means it might reveal your cleavage so that's basically how it works so now I'm going to slit open So go ahead and do yours i'll slit open to to not to the end like a little bit so that because if you slit to the end it's going to separate from the pattern just slightly yeah so here i've spread it on my on my pattern at the upper part on my fabric at the upper part i left um let me say like 1.5 or 2 inch i spread it on 7 inch that's the spread i use so now i'm connecting i connect the straight line to the shoulder point um please you see where that um the curve there was 0 0.5 i went in the neck curve is on your pattern you're going to after you've you've cut out please make sure you notch notch that place because it will show you when you're doing your count like it will show you where your shoulder is starting from where your shoulder point is starting from and where it's going to end I added my shoulder seam allowance now i'm adding my seam allowance for the dress so add according to your choice i did 1.5 so you can do less than that then for the side seam i did 0 0.5 that's for the waist seam sorry i did 0 0.5 connect all the um all your points of um imputed allowance and cut here i'm folding in the the upper part that's 0 0.5 that i said i left is to i'm going to use it to turn it so there's no point for me to add the facing so now i'm cutting out cut out your fabric and i want to show you something here i'm, I'm closing back my pattern what this is is going to give me a guide to know how full what and what i need to do so with this now i know i have a lot excess so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to pleat it I'm going to pleat it on it so this is giving me an idea of what my outcome my dress outcome is going to be like so i'm going to deepen the the, the armhole because it's not curvy because of how it was placed so now i will straighten it when i'm sewing i i showed you that Here, I'm also looking out for how it's going to be before we proceed. So now I'm cutting the back. Like I said, I have a, a, a detailed tutorial on how to draft a half-scale body block on my pattern. 
I will link it on the description box. You check it out. So cut, cut, but don't cut it out. Now for the skirt part, the down part of the dress, I placed my fabric, and I'm placing my waist and my hip allowance, me hip measurement. I use 1.5 allowance, same allowance for the front, the upper part was what I used for the down part of the dress. So now I'm connecting. For this dress, because it's going to have a roach, we're using same hip measurement to the down part of it. So there's nothing like contouring the, like, when you go in, in your new part to remove some maybe one inch 1.5 depending on what if you're making a pencil skirt no this is going to be straight so i'm going to distribute the hip the, the measurement i have to the down part of my of my skirt so this is me checking what i have i have 12.2 so i'm going to distribute it to the down part of the dress and cut so go ahead and do same for yours and if you want it free i Maybe you want more ease because it's roach. You can add maybe extra 0.5 to your hip measurement or or one. It's all totally up to you. So I'm spreading the measurement, then I will connect. This will help me have a even line when I'm connecting. So go ahead and connect yours. Connect. then cut out blend off any sharp edges you have now i want to do a contouring on my waistline because i don't add i'm not adding that on my front panel so i'm going to minus 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.5 sorry from the waistline it's supposed to end if it's if i'm if i'm drafting a paper pattern it's supposed to end on my waist allow um that if that makes sense so that's how i connected it there so now i'm going to add my sewing allowance and by the side of it i went up by 0 0.5 if you take it down you have to come up by 0 0.5 so now i'm adding my zero i also added the 0 0.5 allowance i hope i'm not too fast <laughs> then connect then cut out Now we're going to the back panel of the skirt. I'm going to do a little alteration for it. I've pinned down my fabric so that the front one won't be moving. So we're going to start from the waistline. Remember, in this pattern, I took out 0 0.5 from the waistline. This helps to eliminate bulge. You know that snake kind of shape you get when you sew, sew your cloth. So now I'm going to remove same thing I removed from the upper part here on the lower part. I removed 0 0.5 and I'm removing the 0 0.5. I'm going to impute my waist dart, leg. And if you don't know how to sew waist dart, I have a detailed tutorial. I think on the previous um, how skirt that I made, mini skirt that I made, I showed how to sew a dart. So now I'm going to connect it to the dart leg, where the dart leg is stopping, if you can, as you can see. So now we're going to alter the waist, that's the zipper allowance. You know, people's back, I, people's back are different. Some are deeper, some are not that deep. So 
you need to maybe try out over time for to know how to do it i went i did a let me say 97 percent um 70 percent with back snatching so what i did i took out one inch in that one inch i repeat i did same for the skirt because i did it for the upper part i did same for the skirt so that one inch now by the way i saw me, i went in by one inch now i'm going to connect it back to my hip point like so and i will go down by five inch from my hip point so use your measurement use your hip measurement where your hip is sitting then i'll go down by five inch and i'll go in again by one inch so if this if this were to be a, a straight skirt it's going to give you this um it's going to give you this um bot kind of shape like make it curvy kind of and give ease you know to the hip area and um, everything will just sit perfectly you just have a very perfect fit okay now we're going to come out by that's my zipper allowance that i'm putting so put as much as you want to use if it's one inch you want add your one inch if it's 1.5 you want to put add it and spread it across from the line that line i went in by zero i went in by one inch after the i went down by five it's, it's going to connect that one it's going it's going to go straight down to the end of the skirt back skirt so please take note because um i caught that part of while i was editing so sorry about that so now i'm going to add my waist uh, my that allowance for the back if you're been following my channel you know i always add that allowance at the back not the front like I said, it depends on what I'm making. I'm not used to putting that allowance at the back, at the front, sorry. So I connected my that allowance back. Now I'm going to cut. This is a freehand cutting. If it was pattern, it would be easy. When you're doing everything, you transfer everything. But this is a freehand. So it's quite easy when you are used to it. So now I'm going to connect my sewing allowance at the end of my hip line i added um 0 0.5 just like i did on the one for the front then now i'm adding my sewing allowance I'm connecting everything then we just cut out Go ahead and cut out cross check your work make sure everything is in place before you cut because once there's an error you cut you can't amend it except you're using another fabric for it so cross check before you cut out if there is any question you have drop it on the comment section and um yeah if you've watched up to this part if not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for Click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, make sure to like our video, it helps our channel, like our video, share to someone else, help someone else with it. Yeah, so now notch, notch your zipper allowance so you know where your zip is going to sit, notch the zipper allowance and um, your dart leg, you notch your dart leg so that when you're sewing, it will be easy for you to know where your dart leg is going to be. This is me notching my zipper allowance. So now I've used the um, hemming gum to hem. You remember the turning part that I, that, the part I folded, I, I fold that I'm going for the, that I use, I said I was, I was going to use it to fold the front part. So I've done that. So now I'm pleating the SS that I have. And this is my back um, um, bodies. Please make sure to, I, I forgot before here, I later lose the clothes and um, add my facing for the back. I didn't, I didn't do it here. It's not showing here yet. So please make sure to cut out facing for your back. Sorry, I didn't. If you're going to use bias, you can use bias. If you're using the fabric, use the fabric. 
just do your facing first then the armhole of this dress i piped it with the fabric so i pleated i pleated the ss i made sure it aligned the same way i pleated for the right side i did for the left side of the the, the shoulder like so so that we have an even look when we sew so i paint i will take it to the machine and i will sew on the added allowance i i i impute on my shoulder it was 0 0.5 so i'm going to sew on 0 0.5 so go ahead and pin yours take your time pin make sure you pin so it, it secures your your work so your work doesn't move when you're sewing it helps you have a more neat finishing so now i'm taking to the machine and we're going to sew so we've, i've sewn it this is what it looks like i'm still cross checking to make sure i'm i, I have the fit i want for the neck because that's the beauty of the cloth the fit for the neck is the beauty of the cloth <laughs> okay now i'm going to dip in my shoulder you see it's not looking it's looking like a v kind of a thing that's not how your shoulder should look so now i'm going to straighten it it was because of how the pattern was placed when we were cutting it so now i'm going to straighten it to give it the real curve it should have and yes so you're going to turn the there's no lining for this so i don't know the fabric you're using if you're, if you're going to have lining do your lining turn your lining for the lower part that's the down part so now i'm this is me notching the waistline, the dart waistline for the back. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect the back piece to the down part of the back piece, the front piece to the down part of the front piece. So this is what we have when I was done. If you, as you can see, you see that there's facing here. That's behind the camera when I've loosed <laughs> and added the facing. So we're going to put the zip and sew around on the same allowance then we'll come back here is the key to the roach we're making so now i'm going to turn on the side seam of it you make sure please make sure to please make sure to iron very well fit your clothes and make sure it fits perfectly before you do this part so i came down from the waistline by one inch from the waistline went down by one inch then from the down part of it i you can do six five you it can it's not necessary you do eight so what i did here is i checked my my elastic this elastic is actually very stretchy so from my waist to where the eight inch i went up by from the down is 35 inches so what i'm i will do I, i'm using 15 inches allowance because when i stretch it i had more than 35 inches it's so the elastic is really very stretchy so you try that's how you test the elastic you test it you check the measurement left you test the you check the elastic you need if you divide the measurement left by two elastic and you stretch it if it's up to it if it's up to the the measurement it's good if it's not up to you increase before you cut so i'm cutting two pieces one for this side one for the other side here is me cutting it out so go ahead and cut your elastic like i always say in my videos make sure you use your measurement in as much as you're watching it compare it with your measurement before you proceed so now you're going to turn your fabric to towards your back side of your dress you can see you're seeing the zipper allowance there towards the back side of your dress and you're going to stitch on 0 0.5 stitch on 0 0.5 and also i want to point out you when you measure your places you're going to insert your allowance it's advisable you 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 notch you open you make an open from the point you're going to insert it from before you stitch because 
<laughs> it was difficult so this is me after the first doing the other part i just want to show you this other side and why i said what i said to open this place was a bit difficult so it's that's why i said it's advisable you do it before you get there so yeah this is it not nothing too difficult let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this out and thank you for watching we appreciate see you in my next video see my next video make sure to like subscribe and share so here is how so go ahead and insert this is how i i did mine there are different methods of there are different methods to insert so thank you Enjoy your sewing process and share with us your outcome.